Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Emilia and my channel name Harvinaisen Kaunis Elämä means uniquely beautiful life. And underneath this flue there is a beautiful light somewhere. I be hope you can bear my raspy voice. I just couldn't um, not do this, uh, this reaction even though I am a bit down at the moment. You have been asking me to do a reaction to Marko Hietala's version of Varpunen Jouluamuna, Sparrow on the Christmas Morning, Raskasta Joulua version, and I have never heard it, so I thought it was it would be a perfect thing to do right before Christmas. And um well, what should I tell you about it? Varpunen Jouluamuna is the, one of the most beloved Finnish Christmas songs, uh, which I think tells you quite a lot about Finnish Christmas song taste, maybe. Because um, this song was originally a poem written by the beloved Finnish author uh, Zacharias Topelius. He wrote it in 1950, sorry, 1859, uh, after his baby boy had died. And, well, yeah, it tells a t story about a little girl who, on a really cold, snowy Christmas morning, feeds a, a little bird who then um, happens to be his little brother from heaven. And this version of the song, uh, Raskasta Joulua version, it's really interesting to see how they do this. There is some heaviness in this song, but also some kind of fragile beauty because it's about child or children and loss and now now you probably know already but in case you don't raskasta joulua uh, means heavy christmas in finnish and it's this very heavy annual finnish christmas music tour and as i know there are lovely new friends in the channel Welcome, my lovely souls. I am so happy that you are here, honestly. So I I just quickly want to tell you that Marco Hietala is the former bassist and vocalist of Nightwish, a national treasure of, of ours. Both of them are really. So... Varpunen joulu aamuna, Marko Hietala, raskasta joulua. Yeah. 
Solon hyökkää kapumme Erkka Kolme. was beautiful, different and interesting, but beautiful. <laughs> the children, I forgot to uh, pause. I was so, so deep in listening it. I completely forgot I, <laughs> I would have to stop and, and say something because I wanted to listen to it. Um, the children choir added so much sweetness and and such a beautiful power contrast uh, to it, and and I liked both the beginning and the end was so simple. It was really effective. Uh, and again, Marco's voice was gorgeous, and uh, probably all, all by now you know that I simply love his voice. But um, I think I'm about to upset a lot of people. Uh, but this is my channel, and I I think the best I can do is to be myself. So. Here we go. <laughs> I think, for me, um, Nightwish tribute to Blink Floyd's "I Hope" did better justice to his voice. Um, that's where he signed, because that was his home. Um, I try to explain what I. What I mean, what I mean, and please listen this through before you judge me and leave me angry comments. Sorry, you Nightwish Army haven't been nothing but kind and supportive, so of course you won't. Uh, I mean, leave me angry comments. I hope you <laughs> listen to what I have to say, <laughs> and I think I, I, I can, I can, I am safe enough to say this. Because it's something quite important, at least I think so. Because for me, this song was clearly out of Marco's comfort zone. I felt it quite in many levels. I don't mean vocally, but thematically. Because um, it's shown true. Uh, in his gestures and his uh, expressions and I understand it and I respect it. This was a um, somewhat religious song and he's, I think he's an atheist, so, right? So, 
Now, you know I love Nightwish and I love Marco uh, voice <laughs> and I enjoy their music I love I love especially the lyrics so it's embarrassing that I, e I even mm, think I need to say this aloud but I want to say it aloud anyway because for me it's so obvious but um but here's the thing I think we can respect each other regardless what we are or what we are not including faith so i'm an old testament researcher theologian and christian i believe in jesus i can al almost hear the subscribers dropping off but it doesn't mean you have to be. And I'm not here talking about my faith. I'm here talking about Nightwish. Because not everyone can be both, you know, Old Testament researchers and archaeologists. So I leave it be. <laughs> Sorry. But I mean, uh, when I realized that this is um this song is some kind of a master class of abandoning one's uh, comfort zones i tuned out from this this comfortable discomfort or uncomfortable feeling i had inside me watching marcos uncomfortable facial expression and i enjoyed it so much I think it was a stunning performance and here is what I am going to do next. I am going to listen to that again in private, sorry, <laughs> with my eyes closed. And I will concentrate on Marco's beautiful voice and the powerful and dynamic um, performance. And sweet voices of the children and the incredible guitar solo and I loved the guitar and bass and, 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 and drums there and I let them fill my heart with joy and love so that's all I have to say today thank you